this is a family secret, and you gave it up to me, boom. Don't look to John, because he's not around. I was just saying. You were just saying. Just saying gets people sent to Allen Wood. Just saying. Could get you buried real quick. That was a scene from Black Mass, which just opened around the country. It stars Johnny Depp as the infamous James Whitey Bulger. For 20 years, Bulger was Boston's most notorious crime boss. Then in 1995, he went into hiding and wasn't caught until 2011. Now he is serving two life sentences in federal prison. The new film is getting raves for its performances, but some victims' families and even Whitey Bulger himself are not happy about the movie. New York Times bestselling author T.J. English has a new book about Bulger titled Where the Bodies Were Buried, Whitey Bulger and the World That Made Him. T.J., good morning. Good morning. You saw this film last night. What did you think? Well, two things. You can, you can analyze it as entertainment and you can analyze it as some sort of accurate depiction of the Bulger story. I think as entertainment, it's, it's a good movie. Uh, people will find it compelling and interesting. As a depiction of the Bulger story, I think it, it skims the surface. The Bulger story is a very complicated story, maybe too complicated for, for a two-hour movie, and I found the movie to be rather superficial in that regard. What to you is the biggest detail about Whitey? Because you sat in that courtroom, you heard everything in 2013. Yes. What was the biggest detail you think it misses? The biggest detail about Bulger is, is that corrupt relationship he had with the FBI and the criminal justice system was a, a series of relationships that were in existence in New England, in the New England uh, jurisdiction, before Whitey Bulger even came on the scene. That this was a tradition of lawmen interacting with gangsters to make criminal cases. And that Bulger actually inherited this mm -hmm. rather than created it himself. And so to me, the historical context of the Bulger story is essential to understand it. TJ, just how powerful a crime boss was he? He was a very powerful crime boss. He had a few uh, uh, edges in the underworld that most people don't have. Number one, he had a brother who was the president of the Massachusetts State Senate, maybe the most powerful politician in the state. And he had this unique uh, uh, connection to John Connolly and the FBI and the criminal justice system. The fact that they enabled him, covered for him, protected him, really gave him tremendous power in the underworld. It's been reported that Bulger himself doesn't want to see this. He didn't want to write with Johnny Depp. He didn't want to talk to him. Right. He doesn't, you know, no interest. So how did he prepare for the role Johnny Depp himself in becoming this man? Well, you'd have to ask him that. I only know what I read. I understand that he watched surveillance photo. He listened to some audio tapes that they do have of, of Bulger. He may have talked to people who, who know Bulger. But I think he... He, he took liber liberties. He created his own interpretation of who this guy was. And uh, as I said, the performance is, is one of the best things about the movie. The, the film attempts to show Bulger's human side as well. And this is one of the things I think the families object to, is they, they think the film, in some ways, makes him too sympathetic. Well, they do have the, the, the uh, narrative uh, aspect of his son, and they try to use that to humanize him, that he had a child and that the child died at a very young age, early in Bulger's life. And that, the facts of that are true, but from what I understand, in, in reality, Bulger spent very little time with that child, and that key scene where he's at the dinner table with the child never happened. So that's a device, that's a screenwriter's yeah. device, you know, to, to humanize the character. I know you never had a chance to actually meet Whitey Bulger, but now that you've seen the movie and what you know about him, do you think he would be happy with it? Bulger? Yeah. He would never be happy with anyone else's depiction or interpretation of him. This was a guy who was very careful about cultivating his image in the neighborhood and in, and in the public domain. And uh, he, he would have problems with anyone else taking control of that. He was a control freak. He, he, he would want to be the one who controls that. Well, I know you told us he, he had one of your books. He at, did. At he was a reader. He was right. a reader, you know. I, he spent some time in prison early in his life, and he developed a reading habit. And he sure. loved to read true crime books, organized crime books, particularly ones in which he was featured. And I wrote a book <laughs> called Paddywhack about the history of the Irish mob, and he's mentioned in it quite a bit. Well, T.J. English, thank you so much. Where the Bodies Were Buried is in stores right now.